Welcome back to GearWire.com. Uh, I'm Ona Malley, and we're checking out the Blackstar HT Studio 20. Uh, Blackstar is a British amp company, and this is uh, one of many amps that they offer. Uh, this is basically a higher watt version of the HT5, which is a 5 watt all tube combo. This combo is also all tube. Uh, there is a single 12 inch Celestian speaker. What model is that guy? It's a Rocket 50. Uh, so, a single Rocket 50. Um, it's got two 12AX7 preamp tubes and two EL34s in the power section. Uh, and this guy delivers 20 watts. Uh, this amp is marketed as a studio amp, although it's definitely loud enough to play along with band. This amp gets quite loud for its 20 watts. Uh, it is a two channel amp, there is reverb. Um, we've been listening to the dirty channel. And the, or the overdrive channel, and I really think that the overdrive channel is sort of like the, this is the character of this amp, is this overdrive channel. This is the reason you get this amp. If you're, especially if you're recording, but even if you play any kind of like rock, hard rock, heavy metal styles, this amp is going to go far for you. Um, as we can see here, the gain is about two thirds of the way up. We can dial it back a little bit. Uh, there is a master volume and each channel does have its own volume control, which is really nice. Uh, there's a three band EQ only on the overdrive channel. Uh, and the overdrive channel also has this unique little thing called the infinite shape feature. Uh, right now, the infinite shape feature has been, uh, is all the way clockwise. Um, now, if we turn it counterclockwise, basically, as Blackstar describes it, it's a more British sound as you go counterclockwise. Um, and right now we're, I guess, at the more American sound, which is supposed to deliver, I guess it's more of a, um, sort of a, a, a bass emphasized scoop mids kind of, you know, American high gain sound. Uh, let's listen to what happens to the tone as we move the ISF control counterclockwise to the British position. <laughs> Again, just for comparison, this is completely counterclockwise. And this is completely clockwise. So, uh, Basically, what you get here is a very Marshall-esque tone, Marshall-esque hard rock tone, with a little bit more versatility, which is kind of nice. There's also quite a bit of range on this gain knob here. Let's play with that a little bit. Let's turn our volume all the way up on the overdrive channel and just inch our gain up just a smidge here. <laughs> You can hear when we've got the gain dialed back quite a bit, it cleans up really nicely when you roll back the volume on your guitar. And you get some really nice sort of like bluesy and classic rock tones. Let's move over to the clean channel here. Clean channel is a very, very simple channel. It's still a very usable channel. I just, uh, to me, it's not the most exciting, but let's give it a listen anyway. Here, we're gonna, we're gonna keep it on our bridge pickup here.
basically all you get is a single tone control and right now it is up pretty much all the way. If we dial it back you can hear it's pretty much just a treble roll off. Just play a little neck pick up here. So definitely some nice, usable, clean uh, tones there. And uh, as you heard before, if we do crank up the clean, we do get a little bit of grit. Really usable tones all around. Last thing we should check out here is the reverb because it's uh, it's kind of cool. Let's just put a little bit on here. Let's put a little bit more on there. See what happens. Really nice decay on that reverb. If we crank it up all the way, it gets kind of cool. It almost sounds like when the reverb is all the way up, it's dialing back your dry signal a little bit for like a, a completely reverbed out signal. I think it's a really fantastic sounding reverb. Let's look at the connections in the back. On the back here you see you got uh, your input for a foot switch. There is a foot switch included with this guy, which is nice. And there's an effects loop, mono send and return, and you can uh, attenuate that level between negative 10 dB and plus 4 dB. Uh, you've got an emulated output. It's basically a, a simulated speaker output. This is, you know, marketed as a studio recording amplifier. So even if, uh, you know, 20 watts, uh, 20 watts is too loud for your neighbors, you can kind of plug in there and get a simulated speaker output. And then you've got your multiple speaker outputs there. So you can drive external cabinets. Blackstar makes a couple of different uh, cabinets that will suit this guy fine. Uh, you can drive a couple of 16 ohm cabinets with this guy if you really want to for some crazy full stack action. So that was the Blackstar uh, HT Studio 20. Really just all around a pretty excellent amp. Uh, you can get it for about 600 bucks at most retailers, uh, which is a pretty good, pretty good price on a really extremely well made and really great sounding amp. You've been watching GearWire.com. Thanks for checking us out.